Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this sunset ombre purpley eyeshadow look. So if you like it, stay tuned and you can see how to recreate it. Okay, first thing I did was just um, apply a little shadow shield underneath my eyes just so we can have a clean look. I'm using the Rose Gold Palette by Huda Beauty and the first shade I'm picking up is called Bay on an E27 brush. And I'm just using this to set the concealer that I have on my eyes right now. And I've already filled in my brows as well. Next shade is called Sandalwood and I'm taking this on an R37 and I'm just applying this all over the crease. I'm going in back and forth motions, adding a little bit at a time, and then I'm going to go in little tiny circular motions and just push it upwards. Next shade I'm taking is Henna, and I'm going to use this on a M433 brush and apply this in the lower crease and do the same exact thing, just back and forth. I'm not taking this one up as high as the first shade though. I'm just going back with the R37 with no additional product and just meshing those two colors in together. Now I'm going to take the shade 24K and I'm going to use this on a MAC 242 fr first just to kind of carve out where I want this shadow to be placed and then I'm going to go back in with my finger and just apply it on there because this is a textured shadow it's not going to show that much when you use it on a brush but when you use your finger you'll get a lot more pigment. I'm just going to dab that on right on top of where I placed the shadow first. And I'm taking this from the inner corner of the eye towards the middle of my eye, towards the center. And then after that, I'm going to put another shade on top, and you'll see that in a minute. I'm just going back with the MAC 242 and just kind of blending it out. Okay, next I'm going to take the shade Rose Gold and I'm going to apply this. I'm going to do the same technique that I did before. I'm going to apply this with the MAC 242 first and I'm putting this right on the center of my lid. So it is kind of meshing in with that first gold shade, but that's okay because that's what we want. We want all these colors to kind of flow together and create that nice ombre. So I'm just patting it on, kind of smearing it in the center. And then I'm going to go back in with my finger again and just tap it right on top of where I place that shadow. And you'll see you can get a lot more pigment that way. And after that, just slightly blending it out with that brush again. next shade is called Promiscuous. This is from Melt Cosmetics. This is a beautiful purple shade. I'm using this on a E36 and I'm just applying that in the outer corner of the eye and kind of blending it into the rose gold shade. I'm not taking it too high up in the crease either. I'm going to use a M433 right after I apply this just to kind of blend it upwards. There we go. So that's the M433. I'm using a very light hand here because you don't want this eyeshadow to be too blown up. You want it pretty concise into that outer corner. And now I'm taking the brush. What brush is this? This is a tiny little blending brush the M506 and I'm just using this to kind of blend out those inner corner shades and that center shade. I don't want to blend those out too much but just slightly so that's why I took a smaller brush. I'm just going back in with the E36 and adding a little bit more of that purple shade and just blending it out again and then I'm going to go back and add a little bit more of 24K and also rose gold just so we get that intensity back because when we blend a lot the intensity uh, kind of goes away but you can always just go back and just tap on more shadow okay 
Okay, now I'm gonna take the shade Nylon by MAC. This is like this frosty, goldish champagne color, and I'm just gonna use that to highlight my brow bone. And this is on a MAC 228 brush. I'm going back with the R37 with no additional product and just blending. Next, I'm going to take the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D and just uh, do a thin liner along the upper lash line. Nothing too crazy. I forgot how good this eyeliner was. I hadn't used it in a while and I just opened a fresh tube and I was like, man, I missed this one. I'm just doing a little baby wing. I'm using that shadow shield as a guide as to where to draw the wing, so that helps. I always kind of step back and look at my shadow and see, make sure that the both sides look even. You always want to do your liner slowly. Okay, just peeling that shadow shield off. It can be painful sometimes. And I already applied a black liner along my lower lash line. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dark Side Liner. And now I'm just going back in with the uh, Promiscuous, that purple shade, and stamping that on. And then right underneath it, going in with Henna from the Huda Beauty pal Palette. And this is on a E18 brush and just buffing that right underneath that purple so we get it nice and smoky down there. After that, we're just going to curl my lashes and apply a thin coat of mascara. I'm using Grandiose Mascara by Lancome. I'm just going to wiggle that onto my lashes. I'm not applying too much because I am going to apply some false lashes. The lashes I'm using are called Center of Attention. They are by Tarte. And I'm just gonna use my hands just to kind of place them on there and use a tweezer to adjust them. And then I just go back in with my fingers, just kind of make sure that they they feel right on the lid. And just kind of push them towards that lid, that lash line. And I also use the back of the tweezers, just kind of make sure that they're not going to go anywhere throughout the day. And voila, we have lashes on. Next I'm going to put some mascara on my lower lashes. I'm doing a terrible job recording this part, sorry. And just a couple more coats on the top just to kind of mesh my original lashes with uh, the false ones. Moving on to the face. So I've already done my foundation and I'm going to apply concealer. This is Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm just going to draw like a nice wide U shape underneath my eyes and just dab it out with the Beauty Blender. And so whatever's left over on that beauty blender, I'm just taking that and putting it in the places where I get a little bit more red, which is along my nose and along uh, my lips. And I'm just going to take a little bit on the forehead as well, just to lighten that area. And then I'm going in with the E27 and just getting it in that inner corner of the eye where that beauty blender doesn't reach. And just going all over and just kind of blending that concealer out. Next, I'm going to take the Lyric shade from the Kat Von D palette and just apply that on the concealer where we applied concealer. And this is a E48 brush. So again, I'm dabbing and then I'm sweeping that powder over. So whenever you dab products into the face, it just it helps the longevity of it. It just makes sure that everything melts into your skin nicely. I'm going in with a Laura Mercier translucent powder on this big fluffy brush and again just dabbing that into the face. And this is a E41 brush.
After that, I'm gonna go in with the Hula Bronzer by Benefit, and I'm using this on a F5, F05. This is a Sigma brush. It's a tiny little Sigma brush. It just helps to, it's for meant for bronzing and contouring. So I'm gonna do underneath the cheekbones and along the forehead. I'm gonna hit the jawline with that bronzer as well. And also underneath the chin. Just so we get a lot more definition to the face. I'm also using this on um, my lower lip and along the nose. For the nose, I recommend using a smaller brush, but I was being lazy and I didn't want to go grab it. But yeah, just use a smaller brush for the nose. Anyways, moving on. So. I'm using that same Laura Mercier translucent powder and just carving out my cheekbones with it, just kind of baking a little bit underneath the eyes as well. Nothing too intense. And also my smile lines, just so I don't get any creases. A lot of powders today. Okay, this is Melba by MAC and I'm using this on a... What brush is this? This is the M530 brush by Morphe and I'm just applying this on the apples of my cheek. I always like to smile so I can see right where that apple of the cheek is and just put that blush there first and then blend it backwards. And I'm just sweeping away that excess powder with the E48 brush. Now I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy highlighter and using this on a M510 brush and just gonna highlight my cheekbones and then I'm gonna do my nose and also on top of my lips. Next, I'm going to take Champagne Pop and also apply a little bit of that on the cheekbones as well. Just because I decided I wanted to glow to the heavens today. So yeah, super highlighted. Just how I like it. And for the inner corner highlight, I'm using that shade Nylon again by MAC. And I'm using it on a MAC 228 brush. I'm just popping that right in the inner corner. And next we're moving on to lips. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner in the shade D minor. And I'm just going to use this to line and fill in my lips. So with the lips you have a few different options. You can just fill them in with this liner and be done with it. It looks great like this. Or you can continue on which I'm going to do. You'll see in a bit. So over on top of that, I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Naked, and I'm just applying this on the center of the lips. Just to create a nice ombre. And you can stop here if you want, but I decided to add some lip gloss, and the shade I'm taking is called Buttercream by Gerard Cosmetics, and I'm just gonna apply that all over my lips.
Next, I'm fill, uh, setting my brows in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Clear Brow Gel. I also use a brow definer and chocolate to fill in my brows earlier, and then I'm just setting them in. And after that, we're going to set the entire face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And we're going to apply a generous amount of that. And voila, we are done. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching, everybody. Bye!